couple of years ago, I had a chance encounter with one of my oldest friends, friends from college. We both stay in a different city now. And we sort of came across a, a, in the mall and we were so happy to see each other. We met a couple of times later when, because she was in the city and um, we sort of spoke to each other about where we are placed in our lives, the things that are happening, the things we are happy about and went back down the memory lane, reviving, reliving all those dreams we had as kids, you know, because uh, when you're in college, you can just dream. Slowly, our friendly banter became a little sour, a little bitter. It became more competitive and ultimately, friendship fizzled out. The only winner from this is envy. And I want to talk to you about how you can control envy when you're going through it. Let's get started. Hey there, my name is Aparna. I am a certified coach and every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. And if this interests you, do consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're there, do not forget to press the bell icon so you're notified every week when I post a new video. We live in an age of envy and this emotion is being amplified with social media. There's career envy, kitchen envy, children envy, food envy, holiday envy, you name it, there is an envy for it. Harold Coffin said, Envy is an art of counting others' blessings instead of your own. However, it's important that you understand the feeling of envy is rooted in skewed, exaggerated perceptions. Psychologists call it cognitive distortion. Little bit of science. Research suggests that we develop cognitive distortions as a way of coping with adverse life events. The more prolonged and severe these adverse events are, the more likely you are to develop one or more cognitive distortions. Feelings of envy is one of them and the result of it is nothing but emotional suffering. But here's the deal, you cannot get rid of envy. We can, however, mindfully control it. So here are three mindful tools you can use to control your envy. Number one, be aware of your physical sensations. When we, when we experience feelings of envy, you tend to feel the heat wave in our face or our chest. Notice and understand what is happening to you when you are undergoing that emotion. When you notice these sensations, label them as envy. Here's how it works. By labeling them, we are creating a distance between us and what we are experiencing, which is a significant step into elevating your suffering. Number two, challenge this distorted perception. You can say the statement, things are never what they seem to be, and they're really not. Those who we think have it all, almost definitely have a suffering that we don't see. Perhaps the person who has triggered that envy within us is also experiencing envy of us. You don't know. We could be having something that they feel they lack. Number three, practice gratitude. We feel envious when we pay attention to things that we don't have. By turning our attention to the things that we do have, we are inviting happiness, pride and love. And there are many ways to practice gratitude. I've spoken exclusively on this before and there is a link that is appearing on the screen right now. You can click on that to know more. You, those are the three mindful tools that help me understand myself and overcome the feelings of envy. Remember, envy cannot be completely eliminated from your life. However, with deliberate effort, which means mindful practice, you can control it. And it's important that we do it because envy damages our relationships, disrupts our lives and sabotages our self-esteem. When you're obsessed with someone else's success, that sort of undermines your own value. How frequently do you feel envy? Notice how that is impacting your life. And I'd love to hear from you if you wish to share stories of your envy and how you have overcome it. Do leave me a message in the comment section below or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this video resourceful. Do give it a thumbs up. 
share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel subscribe and also hit a bell icon so you're notified every thursday when i post a new video i'll see you next week until then take good care of yourself bye, -bye.